I want to show you my trick for locking the beginning and end of seams. Now on the Singer Heavy Duty 4452 sewing machine, the reverse button is actually right here. So a lot of times people start right on the edge of the fabric and that's all great. You're going to come down a few stitches, hold the reverse button down, go back a few stitches and then take off. So there's a one, two, three lines of stitching. Now, I don't know about you, but me and my seam ripper tend to have a pretty um, friendly uh, relationship and I'm often using it. So three rows of stitches are actually quite, uh, uh, they're, they're very well connected and hard to take out. So my tip for you is actually to start in a little bit, reverse back to the edge of the fabric, then let go, and you have a very secure piece uh, at, uh, stitching at the end. And you can kind of do the same thing when you get to the end of your fabric. And you can even take a stitch or two off the fabric, still hold the reverse button, go back a few stitches and then stop. You don't have to travel all the way back down. Trust me, that is locked enough. And that's my trick because uh, taking out two rows of stitches versus three rows, oh yeah, totally much easier. I'm turning the hand wheel, bringing that all the way up to the top position. Before I lift my foot up, use the little cutter on the side of the machine and you can see that you have a nice, locked end and beginning by starting in and going back and then traveling down and then going back. So try that next time. Trust me, it is going to still hold. Your reverse button is always right at your fingertips for easy securing of every seam.